What's up guys and welcome back to a new Little Big Planet 3 video. Today we're going to be doing something very special. We're going to be doing the Pop It Puzzles. Let's head in. Playing and creating are two bedrocks upon which Little Big Planet is founded. <laughs> it's, it's amazing to think that long, long ago, people thought that if playing and creating were ever to meet, it would unknit the very wool of the Imagosphere. Seems silly now, like when they thought the Earth was round. Mad! <laughs> of course we can combine play and create. How else would we bring you the amazing Poppet puzzles? They're ever so clever. They'll teach you about how to create things in Little Big Planet with brain teasers that are sure to delight and challenge in equal measure. Hooray! So let's head into Poppet Academy Term 1. Here at the Poppet Puzzle Academy, we strive for academic excellence and grand mastery in the ways of the Poppet. Whether you're a novice Poppet pretender or a seasoned Poppet practitioner, there's always something new to learn. Come on in, wipe your knitted feet, and we shall begin. Hooray! So it's head in the Poppet Cursor. Hello! Yes, it's me! Um, oh... It's got a D in it. Um, Larry Da Vinci. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and what's this? Do my eyes deceive me? <laughs> Hello, sack thing. I remember the days of the Alliance with such fondness. Apart from that negativity, what's it? Ugh, the very thought of it curls my toes. Ever since we defeated it, I've been at a bit of a loose end, so decided to ply my trade as a puppet professor, you know. Give the youngsters the benefit of my knowledge and all that. I've got something marvellous to show you. It's the most powerful tool in your creative arsenal. <laughs> Come with me. Cool, Larry Da Vinci is back from Little Big Planet 2. Very, very cool. I'm very glad to see our good old pal back. Now, this is sort of the first episode of a series I'm calling called, <laughs> calling called Learning with Zebra. Basically, I want to become a more in-depth creator with Little Big Planet 3, and while I'm doing that, I want to share my experience with you guys. So while I'm doing the tutorials and learning how to make levels and eventually showing you guys my final product of making a level, I'm going to be recording it and showing it with you guys. If you guys think it's a good idea, feel free to let me know, but we're going to be doing the pop-up puzzles to start it off. All right then, so DaVinci wants us to follow him. I really like the uh, aesthetic of the design. It's very cardboardy and like, it's like a workshop. Behold, the vitally important, um, oh, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Poppet Power-Up, that's it. The Poppet Power-Up enables you to use Create Tools within Play Mode. It also furnishes you with a fabulous hat. Oh, imagine that. Let's give the magnificent thing a whirl, shall we? Cool, the Poppet Power-Up is definitely something new to Little Big Planet 3, so why don't we pick it up? Ooh, I like it, I like it, this nice construction hat. It really fits well with my uh, zebra skin. <laughs> what doesn't though, right? All right then, let's follow Da Vinci some more. Oh, we can even get some collectibles here too, definitely worth them. The Poppet Power-Up adds fantastic new options to your Poppet menu. Open the Poppet by pressing the Menu button. Select your Poppet cursor with the Action button. You move the cursor around using the left stick. If you're in a menu but want to get back out, just use the Back button. Move your cursor over the orange area and onwards we'll go. Gently does it. Okay then, so we can move stuff around and just sort of putting our cursor over stuff. Very cool. Of course, this is going to be some very simple stuff. The very essence and basics. Usually graceful and precise movements for a novi. <laughs> a lot of sack folk end up knocking something over. Or someone. And probably Da Vinci. So <laughs> well, I mean, we are quite the veterans. I personally played every single Little Big Planet game that has released. Not the beginning and the end. I should have played a little more of PSP. The bridge couldn't hold the weight of us both. Oh, how embarrassing. Luckily, the Poppet power-up can make mistakes disappear as if they'd never happened. It's true. Press the left button to rewind. Rewinding makes everything freeze in place. This is called pause mode. 
You can unpause by pressing the up button. Okie dokie, so let's uh, rewind. Undo what we just did. Hooray! All right, <laughs> we seem to be stuck now, so why don't we pause? There we go. All evidence nicely removed, and no one any the wiser. <laughs> we can undo all of our bad deeds. Place your cursor over an object, and tap the action button to select it. Now, you can then move the object around using the left stick. And if you should want to drop the object and back out of the poppet, you do so with the back button. Hooray, so let's uh, pull up our cursor here and move this triangle shape over here so we can actually get up. That'll be helpful, hooray, and we get, I really like how we get some nice stuff. I love how Da Vinci just runs into the store. Hey, da Vinci, hello, can I come in too? What do you have in there? Do you have any like nice goodies, some cookies? Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> All right then, he's gonna pop back out here. If you've used your puppet cursor to select an object, you can use the right stick to spin it and change its size. Okay then. Try it out on this block here. I love how we're creating within the confines of a level. It's so cool. So let's pick it up and let's make it nice and small so we can get it through here. And then make it nice and big again so that we can, uh, yeah, put it just right here and get up here. <laughs> I made it a little too big, but that's okay. Let's go on up. Yep. And then let's pick it up again and change it and. I think we, yeah, we press R to uh, change the size. It's stuck, I think. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't want to break the level as soon as I get into here. I mean, we haven't been creating for too long and we're already breaking you stuff. Natural. <laughs> I, like <your> style. <laughs> I like your style, Da Vinci. All right then. Ooh, more stuff. Hmm, it looks like this one, we're gonna do a similar premise. We gotta pick this up and then make it nice and small. Go on through here. So yeah, is there anything you would like to see me create? Personally, I would like to start off by creating a platformer. I want to learn the ropes and make a nice, simple, fun platformer, and then eventually start being a little more complex, maybe make, you know, some sort of a, I don't know, like, I, I really would like to see some type of top-down game made, maybe like a shooter of some sort, that'd be fun. A lot of cool stuff I have going around in the Zebratastic noggin of mine, but uh, I guess you guys will have to watch to find out. Oh, I love how the paint, paint here, it trips. <laughs> cool. If an object isn't working out for you, it can be easily recycled back into the Imagisphere. Select it and press the delete button to get rid. Okie dokie. Just don't use it on the furniture, <laughs> especially if you're sitting on it at the time. Yeah. Oh, the bruises. <laughs> All right then, so hmm, can we make this smaller? It doesn't look like we can. Oh, okay, so this, I was gonna use it as a platform, but it looks like this does its nicely, job for me. Nicely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> All right, so we can delete some of this as well. Here, let's select it and then delete it. Select, delete, and then select and delete. Hooray, now we get more stuff. I really like how you can get um, stickers and materials here too. Okay then, what else are we gonna learn? Selected something with the cursor, you can nudge it in and out. If you want to push an object forward, use the front shuffle button. Similarly, you use the back shuffle button to move an object backwards. Okay so then, so basically we can move objects between layers. Some of this I act, most actually, I think all of it so far, I've known of course because I've done some very, very minimal creating in Little Big Planet. Got a nice little object here. But yeah, so I, I know a little bit without what I'm doing. I'm not a noob. I should be able to fare these pop-up puzzles very, very easily. But I thought it would be fun to have a first time experience with it. <laughs> all right then, pull this up so I can get this nice little, uh, whatever this is. Let's run on over and find out. Who what? There we go. I got a decoration. Looks like some type of a blueprint map, which is really, really cool. All right, then let's run over to the right. Ooh, here he is again. Hi, Da Vinci. <laughs> I find these things quite uplifting, you know. <laughs> okay, then. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's gonna it's stop the L. Okay. Stuck in a lift. You know how to fix it, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> da Vinci seems pretty clueless, so. Oh, I think uh -oh. this is all too easy for a budding genius like you. Looks like I messed out on some prizes there. I should have done that one first, I guess. Oh well. All right then. What is over here? Open your pocket and find your goodies bag. Inside, there's a ball. Select the ball with the action button, and then use the left stick to move it around. Once you're replete with satisfaction at its positioning, tap the action button to place the ball. Hooray! Okay, then let's uh pull it up. 
There we go, and get the cricket ball. Cool, I've never played cricket myself. I don't think I've even uh, actually watched it. There we go. Hooray, now we can get up here. Ha ha, awesome. Shockingly good. Have you done this before? No, I haven't. We're actually very <laughs> I haven't done this before, but I'm I mean I've played a lot of Little Big Planet before, so I guess it's sort of what's can we make it smaller? Oh darn it, I wanted to make it like really tiny or something like that. <laughs> Alright then, there we go. The first poppet puzzle completed. It looks so weird without my zebra head, but hey, at least I have my tail. Hooray, tails! <laughs> Hey there, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. The support really does help. If you have any thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in watching more videos, why don't you check out some of the ones on the screen right now? Either way, this has been Zebra. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay Zebratastic.